Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. Exciting. Today is the 31st of August 2019 and um, we are just about to enter David Crockett Ranch Hotel, uh, a hotel I've never stayed at before. It smells phenomenal. Can you smell the bomb? It's quite nice. Um, yeah, we are just about to go to the reception to get to our cabin for the next couple of nights, see where we get. Never been here before, very exciting. Literally feels like it's a oh, cute, feels like it's only a little village, I want to say. Very cowboy. So, thought I'd, uh, <laughs> thought I'd uh, take you along the journey. Oh, they, they, that's why it smells beautiful, because they're cooking barbecues over there. Can you see it? I think that might be the tavern thing, the Crockett's Tavern. It's really nice. Um, information there. That's the trading receptions just here. Phenomenal. Cute. I can't, if you guys could smell, the smell is delicious. Is that a little post thing again? Yeah. Cute! Oh, it says keys, probably. Ah, oh, fair. For like when you finish your... Shall we go in? Yeah. Wow, there's not even a queue. I like this. Ooh. Bonjour. Um, you have a reservation for this evening and tomorrow? Est-ce que vous auriez votre document de réservation également une pièce d'identité Oui, ma passe, mon passeport, ça c'est, je, je pense que c'est le confirmation. Euh, vous, vous avez deux adultes, c'est bien Oui, ça. oui. Et vous êtes là du coup pour vous donner juste votre nationalité, mm -hmm. votre numéro de téléphone portable et également une signature. Oui, oui. parfait. I'm very excited, guys. An actual key, yes. not like a card. No, no. Oh, it's 11 69. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. Now you're here on the reception mm -hmm. and you put your car here on the main car park mm -hmm. of the ranch. Okay, yeah. And your cabin is in the box of Bob Bob trail. Bob. What a cute. You turn on the third on your left. It's possible for you to put the car next to the cabin. Amazing, okay. yeah. Okay. Wait, so where are we now? We're here. Here, on the reception, the car is here and the yeah. cabin is in Bobcat Tray. Oh, it's magical, I know my name. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's really cute. <laughs> Love it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, are you happy to have some more than anything? These are just uh Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Sure, yeah, why not? Try a different route. See, um, yeah, the whole experience, the whole... So far, I, I just really enjoyed the whole reception area. Very quiet, very peaceful. Smells nice. Smells like a cowboy vibe and barbecue outside. Oh, it's a little bear. It's not quite little, but... And that's is that just uh, Davies? What does it say? Yeah, Davies Farm up here. Davies Farm. Yeah. I think you can do like pony rides. I don't think they'd allow me on a pony. Do you think they would? <laughs> no, but I will. Yeah. I just I'd feel bad for the pony. I feel like maybe I can I can go on a horse. I don't know if it's a pony or a ride. I'd go on a horse. I'd go on a donkey. Yeah, we've discussed your love of the <laughs> your weirdness of horses. Um, yeah, I can imagine that you're right, having like animals around. This is our little cabin. What did you find? Oh, a little barbecue area there. Cute. It's nice that we have like a little balcony area as well. Cute. Would you like to do the honours? Okay. <laughs> <Work. 
don't say no, 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 please don't do this. Oh my god, Sophie. We've been for a journey trying to get. <laughs> Ooh. We need to probably take it out. Yeah. And then put it in there for the lights and stuff. It was by the fridge, I think, was it? Yeah, that's what he said. Which the fridge yeah. is. Lord have mercy, this is so interesting. I'm gonna give you a full on tour, guys, later of this place uh, once we've actually settled in ourselves. Well done, you've turned the lights on yeah. everything. Yeah. This is quite cute. It's quite, quite like spacious actually. It's quite. There's a room there. <laughs> if we decide to have some food, this is like literally three beds. We're gonna do a tour. I'm not gonna show you much more because I just wanna enjoy it for now. Exactly, but there is a TV as well, like you said, Sophie. Hello, David Crockett. And we literally have just a view of trees and stuff outside. This is cute. I enjoy it. Right, um, I'm gonna settle down. We still have our bags and suitcases in the car. We need to bring those in, rest a little bit. We're going back into Disney Village later on. And then you'll see a tour of this probably <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Sophie's gone. It is the next day, guys. We are still at the David Crockett Ranch in front of our lovely Pioneer cabin here. Um, I thought I'd give you a proper tour of the place because we've lived there one night and I've definitely enjoyed it. It's, it's spacious. Like, I was telling my friend Sophie actually, who is still here, um, that weirdly enough, I'd seen, I'd watched a few vlogs and stuff before coming here myself. And from the vlogs, I thought the whole place was bigger. Like the vlogs made it look bigger. And I'm not saying this isn't big, like it's very spacious, but when you, when you go in there, I'll explain to you that it's not as big as I thought anyway. Um, but I mean, I still love it. I really, I actually will miss it because it's our last night in this cabin going up the, our lovely stairs and our lovely terrace area We're in. phenomenal Ooh. Uh, curtains which you very cleverly closed earlier to hide our little cabin from the outside world Hello. cool tada indeed so um as you can see Let's put the water bottle down. When you first enter your cabin, this is what you have in front of you. A kitchen net, a sofa. I love that sofa. Last night I nearly fell asleep on there and I had to move myself eventually. It's a beautiful sofa, guys. Um, we have some cabinets and stuff, storage areas, a bin, well done. A microwave, also well done. We've got obviously a sink. Uh, we also have a a dishwasher, which is nice if you want to. I, I was telling my friend Sophie again, this place, uh, David Crockett Ranch, would be phenomenal or like perfect if you're staying for five, six days or a week and you're coming with a family because it, it doesn't feel as crazy Disney. You kind of feel like a bit away from the madness of Disney and it's also more spacious than just having one room in a hotel. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cabinets up here. You do have, you say there was a mug somewhere as well, Sophie? Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. This one has mugs, some information here, plates and all that. I mean, these are like some of the glasses. I'm sure there'll be plates somewhere. Oh yeah, there's, there are stuff basically. If you want to cook and stuff, you have the options. This place is honestly, like, I'm just gonna sit down. Why am I still carrying my backpack? I'm just gonna put you down. <laughs> Whew, this place is really nice, like, beautiful. I enjoy you. Love the curtains, nice autumnal, autumnal. It's my favourite season basically, autumn, even though I can't even say the word. Is it? <laughs> yeah, is it not? What's your favourite? Summer. Spring. Huh? Spring. Spring would be my second favourite. I'd prefer spring if I didn't have like such bad hay fever during springtime. Mm. It, I genuinely think it's so bad sometimes for me that it puts me off it and I prefer yeah. autumn has now taken over because of the fact that I don't get hay fever during autumn. Um, we've got a, what do you call these things, uh, air conditioner. <laughs> conditioner, but we only have it in the living area, so the two rooms don't have it. It's been fine, like I didn't find it a problem last night, did you Sophie? Mm -hmm. When we first entered and I was in, I went to the room, it was because it was week and we came here in the afternoon, it was a very sunny day yesterday, I went to my room and I was like, oh my god, it is very, very hot. But we kept the aircon on in the living room and then we had our doors open and then both rooms were quite okay by the end of it. We do have a heater there. This is Sophie's backpack, not backpack, her suitcase. We've got a little little table. We've got a massive dining table here, which is nice. Some random ears that don't come with the hotel, but you know, they are nice. This is like, again, perfect for a family of like, I don't know, five, six, however many people you are. We do have a, what do you call it? A phone, David Crockett Ranch. 
a little makeup area, I guess. Is it a makeup area? Did you put? Did you turn this into a makeup area? Or yeah. Was it? So was it? This meant to be with the table. With the table yeah. Okay. It's a really like phenomenal idea, though. I like it. We've got a mirror. Let's go and say hi. Hello. I look a bit dead. Uh, it's been a long day in the parks. <laughs> we have a small TV. Some storage area. I guess you could put your. Yeah. That's nice. And that's more or less the living room. Now, in a second, I'm going to take you to my room, which is on the other side. And then we're going to do Sophie's room as well, which is this side. Um, but that, yeah, this is like a little one last look, full look of the living area, living room with uh, Sophie included. <laughs> oh, we have a safe as well, but we couldn't work it out last night. So a bit of a pointless safe, to be honest. Um, and we have a fridge, which currently has a banana in it that I put there earlier this morning. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> There's nothing. Um, oh, well there you go. That's where you put your key guys, by the way, to make everything work. You've got a random plug thing as well there. Cute. Um, well done. I'm gonna transfer now to my room. Oh, look, magic. My top has changed suddenly. Wonder why. Um, let's go and have a look at my room, guys, uh, because I really enjoy it. But before I go to my room, obviously this is the living room, which is the last it's a piece of uh, footage that you would have seen and here is the key situation we have the toilet here and it's very very small and unfortunately the handle doesn't work very well and it's just been like this since we came in so it's a bit loose but it's okay it just means I can't ever close the door just because I'm scared and I, I wouldn't be able to open it again but yeah you come here um, you do have some toilet paper don't you worry there's some toilet paper here you've got a toilet and it's basically literally just that just a very simple toilet and you do have a little window here as well which is nice because if just in case you want to get some air in um, once in a while that's good but you've got a light it's it's really small it's very narrow so it does the job though you know a toilet why else would you use it apart from going in there to do your business and it does that so that's good and then opposite to the toilet you have the shower and the sink so they're in two separate areas and then this is the shower area um this one works fine thankfully the handle here you come in got a window Ooh, there you go pretty nice hello this place actually feels quite spacious to be fair i do enjoy the space in this considering how small um like even the other bathroom sophie's bathroom which you'll see later um is like this place does feel like you actually have enough space to walk easily um, so you get some towels, you do get some Disney, um, what's the word I'm looking for, like shower gel and shampoos and stuff. So that's nice. I, I think the days of Disney doing this are over though, like are numbered because, you know, this is plastic and we all know how plastic, how bad plastic can be for the world. So very soon I'm pretty sure they're going to stop doing that or at least change the containers to something that isn't so, so bad for the environment. Um, this is just my <laughs> piercing spray. Um, we get some little cups here, obviously the sink mirror you have a little heater here some more towels if you need them some more storage area a little bin down there as well and then here you've got the shower so you open it like this i'm just going to step into it so you guys can see put your small shower again if i close it like again i'm not complaining because you don't need anything like, i'm happy with this you don't need anything big with your life it's just it is quite small just so you can be aware of it. it's not very very big but yeah, you've got some shampoo gel douche as well here. Body wash, basically. Good shower. And then we'll open it. Oh, wow, that was a bit difficult. Oh, wow. Cool, I'm gonna close that. And um, yeah, that is a little sink slash bathroom area or shower area. And then we come out, obviously the toilet is there, as you would have seen. Here we have the living room. And then we go to my room, which also has a door also we've got some hangers here which are a bit loose but yeah just in case you wanted to know you can hang your stuff here and they're quite low they've got some high ones here as well kind of nice quite useful we open the door like this and this room i actually really enjoy so we've got three beds here three single beds one two three well done sam you can count um i guess this is meant to be more of a children's room so obviously that you'll see from sophie the room that sophie's staying in later that one has a double bed and I'm guessing that's if you come as a family, that's where the parents would sleep. And then 
no matter how many children you have, they can uh, sleep here in this room. I think it's really cool. I think it's cool that they've got three actual beds. Not very many hotel rooms or places in Disney have this. In fact, I think this might be the only uh, place in Disney you can stay where there's a room with three separate beds. So that's really convenient. Even if you come with like a group of friends or like family members or relatives and there's a, like a large group of you, you, you know that you can have your own bed and it's fine. I think that's really, really good. I feel really weird sleeping here because obviously it's just me and I'm here with two empty beds. I chose that one on the side because I like feeling nice and cosy. I like being by the wall and obviously I could have chosen this one but I don't like being by windows when I sleep. Nice view though so that's why I decided to go for the other one which is by a little piece of art and I love the duvet like the, the throw thing it's really nice for David Crockett Ranch and I just I slept very well I enjoyed it. Um, I really also like the fact that there's a plug here right next to the bed also these lights I've just turned it off so that is the corresponding light to this. I'm going to turn it back on. There you go. Now it's on. There is some space up here as well for storage and stuff. Um, it's really, really cosy here. I love it. And the window's nice as well. Obviously, in the night, I um, make sure to do this because I want my privacy and I want to feel as safe and chilled and cosy as possible. Um, but yeah, also, there's a, also if you noticed when we arrived yesterday, there's um, a second bed under this one as well. So really you could have four people staying here, so there's like a pull out bed, there you go, that you can put under there. Which is really, really convenient if you're coming with a big group of people. But um, yeah, nice view over here as well. You we also have another artwork here. And I think that's more or less it. I don't know what else there is to show you. Got my shoes here, nicely designed here, designed here, organised here by Sophie, thank you very much Sophie, she beautified my room a little bit for me before I did this and here I think, I don't know actually this doesn't open, I'm not sure what this is if you know let me know but I can't open it so I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to ruin anything but yeah, this is my room, I'm very happy with it it's not very big, it's quite long but it's it's beautiful, like it's honestly really nice and cosy, I love it a lot there's another plug adapter here, not a plug adapter sorry, there's a little plug thing and is there one here? Uh, no, there isn't. Maybe that's another reason why I chose that bed, because I wanted to be near a plug, because obviously my phone. But, yeah, there you go. This is my room. I hope you enjoyed it. I am losing my voice. I'm going to close this. And we're going to now magically transport to Sophie's room. We are now about to go to Sophie's room, or as I guess you would call it, the adult bedroom, the master the bedroom. Suite. The master suite. Phenomenal. You've got, a, you've got a, like, portrait here. I don't have any, like, art in yeah. my room. Yeah, you do. Do I? Yeah. You would have seen the footage earlier. Did I have some art in my room? I'll just shake the footage back and, yeah, I do obviously have art in my room as well. I don't know how I forgot that. Um, <laughs> maybe because your artwork is on the top of your bed, so it's like a very focal. prime, yeah, focal, that's a good word. Um, quite a big, like, large double bed kind yeah. of vibe. You've got some lights here. Mm -hmm. They're nice. They've got some uh, trees on them. Yeah. Did you turn them on last night as you were having, I don't know, maybe like a nighttime bedtime read? Which I'm sure you did. Yeah. <laughs> did you? <laughs> There's some cabinets here as well. Storage wise, they give you a lot, don't they? Jokes aside, which is good. Oh, nice. You've put nothing in there. You've got some extra pillows up there. Yeah. Is that the, the, your throw thing yeah, that you had on the yeah. That's nice. I do enjoy the throw. I'll show it to you properly now there you go you do have a mirror it's a bit like weirdly located though i understand what you're saying i not like it's good but like because you're like here mm. you can't really fully although earlier like this morning i sat here and i did my makeup so it's not too bad no. i'll allow it your window's open mm -hmm. uh it's nice have you got a good view trees <laughs> that's 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 where we are we're low-key camping um yeah good good uh Curtains, same kind of vibe as everywhere else. It's very private because you can kind of see their cabin, but you can't. Oh, can see you from here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see a bit of the next cabin just there. That's good. You do feel very secluded. But you do. It's only if you're like leaning out to look at someone. Fact of the day, I would definitely, 100%, definitely would not stay in this um, in this room cabin mm -hmm. if I was here on my own. Oh yeah. Yeah, it just wouldn't. It just wouldn't be my thing. It's not 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 that yeah. it's scary or anything. I just wouldn't feel like a point in it. Like, what's the point? Um, this is uh, the bathroom, and that's kind of connected to the double bed room situation. We've got a sink, very basic. We've got a mirror. Hello. 
Um, we've got a toilet. It is pretty small, to be fair. And you would have seen the other bathroom and toilet situations as well. At least this, this one obviously has everything in one place. Cubicle, uh, sink and shower, which are similar kind of vibe to the other one. Not very big, but you know, you don't need it. To, like, it's got all your basics. You don't need anything to be too big. And I'm saying, that I'm basically mentioning the size continuously because when I saw videos of uh, this cabin, I always thought it just looked bigger for some reason on camera. So I'm just saying that it doesn't... Would you say it's a big bathroom? Because it's def I wouldn't say it is. It's quite small for a... It's well, probably the size of my parents' bathroom, to be fair. Would you say? <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't I use a bathroom in your... No, I won't. So don't just say like it's average, maybe. I think it's fine, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like a difficult situation or anything, it's just not very big. It's smaller than what you would get in a hotel if you stay in Disneyland Paris, basically, is what I'm trying yeah. to say. So, if you yeah. stay in like any other hotel, San Jose, like, here you, you haven't got like a, a lot, lot of space to, to move, get yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's absolutely fine because yeah. you have, you have like, oh, you have yeah, a living room, bench, really, exactly. You have a living room, and I mean, what else do you want from life? So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video of uh, a tour of the Pioneer Cabin, I guess, at the David Crockett Ranch, as well as you have seen a bit of the reception as well. If you want to see another video of like a bit more of the David Crockett Ranch, as like as well as the restaurant that they've got here, which is called the Crockett's Tavern, we're eating here tonight, so that'll be a separate video, so make sure to subscribe to see that when it comes out. Uh, I'll probably try and show you the shop as well after food tonight, again, in another video. But yeah, leave comments down below, let me know if you've ever been to David Crockett Ranch. I am very excited and happy to have stayed here finally. Um, I even got myself a little pin, the David Crockett Ranch pin last night from World of Disney. It's the last pin that I needed to now be able to have the full collection of all the Disneyland Paris hotel pins because I've stayed at all of them now. The David Crockett Ranch was the final one and it's a cute one. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, I think it's a great family hotel. Leave comments down below, let me know if you would like to stay here if you haven't. This is my room right now from my current view bit messy over there with my stuff but you know we'll um, sort that out later thank you for watching follow me on instagram if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video bye